was 12, I worked at the dance hall taking tickets. And I liked that. That was really uh, uh, nice. I enjoyed that. I mean, we worked at night and came down. And I mean, I worked steady there all summer. And then the next year, I, I worked across the street in the games. There was a basketball game and a fuzzy was in all the ball games. And then I, I worked in those games until I was 17. Then, and this place came empty. And I wanted to get into something. but. I was going to put a, a ball game up there, and then uh, the war came on, and and then uh, they said when the war is on, nobody's going to be around playing these games. So then the best thing was to put a food stand in, and that's how that started, really. I, I saved the money for five years. I saved pretty close to two hundred dollars a year. And then my mother gave the rest of the money, and uh, my mother had a little bit of money in the bank, and then we, and she contributed to everything she did, so, and plus work, and father, my father worked, and everybody put everything they could in her, so. All these flat tops were ice cream stands, there were, and root beer stands, because I wrote to Richardson, and Richardson uh, had um, a root beer stands, but they were different. They were a little bit different than basically the same, but we, we instead of making it like that, we just made it more like uh, a flat roof outside combination diner and what have you. And, but it, it, it fit better, a flat top. That was what th those 20 years they were building flat tops. Everything we had a flat roof on it, it was either an ice cream stand or. At first, it was no stools, and then later on, we found out I got to have stools, so then we put them in at 12. Well, then there was a lot of people walking the sidewalk. It, it isn't like now, but then it was, it, you know, it was people walked. Those sidewalks were full of people, so standing up wasn't anything unusual, you know. It was normal. The third year, the guy next door, Leitner, had it for sale, the hot dog stand, so we bought it. Then ice cream was big then. Everything was going to go big. So uh, then that was the year we moved that back and built another stand right there for the Dairy Queen. Then we then we built in between it, and it had tables and stuff. And then later on, we just added on the back of that, the back of that, like that, until 1959. Then we tore all that down and built it just like it was, only on one piece, maybe. that summer and the next summer and then one more for then in the fall I got drafted well I went to college for two years and I went and got drafted in the fall after that summer I, in December yeah mm -hmm. then I, I went to got stationed in Fort Leonard Wood Missouri for one year and then the second year I went to Germany and my mother and my sister and my dad did, ran it best they could all while I was gone so, no, the third year we had to buy it because uh, he owed quite a bit of money on it and they were, were going to foreclose on him. So then my dad mortgaged, they mortgaged their house uptown and, uh, and so we bought the corner. It was real small, it wasn't very big. So they, but, but my mother was in business before in Europe. Her father had a bakery and he had a bakery in Cleveland. So she knew, she thought that was always a good, good if anybody's interested. Should, should help, you know. The only thing that's probably been added was probably the coleslaw, had hot dogs, and a cheeseburger, and then we had fish, we had perch, we sold perch, and I mean, uh, pike, and then blue pike, and sausage then too. It's better to have less things than have them good. You can't have a lot of things. If you have a thousand things on the menu, everything can't be good because there's no way you can keep it good, you know. So the fewer things they are, the better they always are. My parents helped me. Everybody put everything they had into it. And we didn't, I guess, you know, it's like everything else. If you don't know that there's anything 
you know, risky or dull, you don't know, you, you take it for what, it's, what it is and you just think that's the way it is, you know. Mm -hmm. Thinking about all things that go wrong, you won't do nothing, you know. And yet you don't know what can go wrong, you know.